Hey guys, I want to show you about a problem that I recently discovered and how you can possibly fix it. So I'm going to start by just showing you what happens normally and then I'll explain how you can fix it. And then I can discuss what actually causes said problem. So right now I have my car's ignition turned on. Um, you know, I'm in park, but the ignition is turned on, which is kind of important here. So my stereo is on the auxiliary input, right? And basically the context is I want to listen to some music, like my own music. So this is an aftermarket stereo, which is, I think, part of the problem. And so I have this aux input jack right here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a cable. All right, so here's one that I normally use because it's got this nice right angle here. I can kind of be discreet about it. Okay, and I'm using my Zune as an example, but it doesn't have to be the Zune. It, it does this with anything, even my phone has the same activity. Now, as you can see, I have the Transformer score all queued up here because I like listening to movie scores, and that's an example of music that starts out really quiet, which would explain this next part. So, for purpose of demonstration, I have the volume, I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. Um, normally, I don't drive down the road listening to it at 100%, but just just to show you. So right now it's plugged in and the MP3 player is on battery. You don't really hear anything different when I plug it in, right? You hear the little crackle when I plug in the cable, but that's it. You don't hear anything else. And if I hit play, right. Okay. But now watch what happens when I plug in my car charger. Now this car has two outlets. This one I use for my phone. This is my this is a Zoom charger. It lights up in red here to show you that it's connected, right? Okay. So watch what happens as soon as I plug this in. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand so I can film it. You hear that static noise? Now, like I said, the engine is on. This is significant here, okay? And it, as I move it around, it kind of makes weird noise. Now watch what happens when I put my foot on the gas. Weird, right? Unplug the cable, obviously it'll stop. But as soon as I plug it in, there it goes. And then if I unplug the power, it stops. Okay, so it turns out this is what's known as a ground loop. And so to solve it, you need what's known as a ground loop isolator. So I picked this up today at Best Buy just to see if what my contact told me was correct. Um, this is one model they sell at Best Buy stores. It's like 15 bucks. I actually ordered a better one online that has the regular uh, headphone type plugs, not these. But this one has RCA plugs. Um, it does not require any sort of power or anything like that. It just has a couple different ends. So here's how you use it. You see, this says output here, and then this is the input. So I'm basically, just for now, to make sure it was working, I used a sort of odd combination of cables. So I have a cable like this that has RCA on one end and a uh, standard 1 8 inch headphone plug on the other, so I plug that in here. It's not right angle, but it'll work for now. Okay, and then I plug this in, so left is white and, or yeah, left is white and right is red. That's kind of a tongue twister. I can't really film it with one hand, but there you go, so I plug that in like this. Okay. Now this end, I'm going to use a coupler combined with this cable that has a regular, um, you know, female end here. And then I use these two couplers because I need the female ends here as well. So um, basically, just like anything that you would want to do this, you go red to red and white to white. Otherwise, the left and right will be backwards. Okay, so there's the red and white there's the red and white. That's the input. Now this, I believe, is a safety thing. You're supposed to hook it up to a, a ground, like plug it into the uh, chassis of your car, but it doesn't actually matter. 
And because I plan on returning this, I'm not going to untwist tie anything. I'm just using this just to, to demonstrate. Okay. Now it's actually a little tiny bit of static. But it's not it's not the loud obnoxious static. I mean I can I can do this and it doesn't affect you know anything there. So anyway, and then I'm gonna grab that same audio cable, the right angle one. Instead I'm gonna plug the uh, straight end in here and the 90 degree end into my zoom. Whoops. It doesn't actually matter which end is which, I'm just gonna do that for this sake. There we go. It actually stops as soon as you connect the circuit. Because it's interesting to note, if you don't have the the whole thing hooked up, it sort of acts like a... It, it reverses the effect that you get static. See? So as soon as you plug it in, it gets quiet. So now, if I do this, I plug this in, dead silence. But now, here's the important part. As soon as I plug in my car charger, ta-da! No more annoying static. I can rev the engine, I can do whatever... I could be driving, no annoying static. And so then I play my music. Okay, now one reason, I actually sort of forgot a step here. I was gonna show you, the reason that I went with transformers was to show you um, if I plug in all right, so I'm going to plug this in. Just basically to, to show you what I'm talking about here, because the music starts out quiet, I want to turn my stereo up really loud so I can hear it. And that will... You basically can hear the static over the music is what it comes down to. So here's that loud, obnoxious static. Hear it in the background? It's overpowering the music right now. It's not until it gets louder that it kind of drowns it out. So, yeah, definitely incredibly annoying. So what you'll want to do is get one of these guys. You can pick one up at Best Buy. If your car stereo, because the reason that this has an RCA plug is that a lot of car stereos do have RCA inputs. And this one does, I think, in the back, but in the front, it's a standard headphone jack. So, um, I basically am using it that way. You can either use cables with adapters, or you can just, if you go online, you can find some that have the regular 1 8 inch headphone plugs instead of RCA. And I think you can get hybrid ones that have RCA in and headphone out, or RCA out, headphone in. You know, there's a, a variety of them. So, yeah, we hook this back up. And nice and silent now. Ta da! Alright, so as I pointed out, it's not just the Zune. Before anybody says, oh, maybe it's just your car charger or your MP3 player. No, it's anything. I'm using my phone to film right now, so I can't demonstrate it, but if I use my phone to play music, I plug in the headphone jack and then I plug in a power to charge my phone, same thing happens. It's just anything. And so now I'll talk a little bit about the cause, right? So as the name ground loop implies, it's basically forming a loop. So I believe this mostly is a problem with aftermarket stereos. In a normal set of wires, you know, you have your positive and negative wires. Well, one of them is usually connected to a source of ground as a safety measure. In the context of a car, the ground, since, you know, it's on wheels, right? So the ground is basically the entire frame of the car, okay? Now, the car charging, or, you know, like the power outlets here, up in the front at least, one of these is grounded too, so that if you plug in something with, say, like a blown fuse or like a short circuit or something, it won't completely, like, shock you. It will just travel down the ground and, you know, end up at the outside of your car. No big deal, right? But um, what happens, though, because this is an aftermarket stereo... Oh, anyway, what I was saying is... Sorry, um, if you buy a car that comes with an auxiliary input, like most newer vehicles now, they will, I assume, design it in such a way that you don't have that static effect. 
they have basically the ground connection to the stereo unit is it's either reversed where it's the opposite wire, right? Because there's two, there's a plus and minus. It's either the opposite wire so you don't have that interference or it just is um, the isolation is already built in. So you don't have like, you shouldn't, if you buy a car with an auxiliary input and you get static like that, take it to the place you bought it from and show them that because that should not happen. However, with these aftermarket units, especially because you have to use like little wiring adapters to make them work, um, based on whatever kind of car you have, there's no guarantee that the circuits won't form a loop. So basically what happens is the ground that's connected to the outside of your car from this power outlet, it travels up here into your source of music and back over the headphone jack. And because it's the same ground that's used for this stereo, you can hear it. And that's what causes that. So you remember I mentioned the engine being on is significant? If you turn the engine off, it gets a lot quieter. It doesn't go away completely, it's just a lot quieter. And I'm guessing it's because the engine makes noise, right? So it sort of causes that interference. So that's why, in fact, like at Best Buy, they keep these where they keep the car stereo install parts, like where they have the people that install car stereos. Because normally, what I think what they would normally do is if you get it installed by a place that knows about uh, ground looping, they just throw this in. You know, they might char they'll probably charge you for it, but they'll throw it in just by default so that you don't have this issue later. Uh, but since this one has the aux plug in the front, it doesn't really work that way. If it was in the back, what they would do is they would just throw this in and then they'd have the cable coming out with the glove box, right? And there'd be a, you know, like a, they'd put like a hole here or something and they'd have the, the plug or, you know, the jack rather. So you can plug it in and, and you won't hear that static. So yeah, that's a ground loop uh, isolator. It's, um, yeah, here's the because he says ground loop isolator so yeah um that's basically what it does i didn't even realize that that's what was going on i thought it was just maybe interference from you know like i thought maybe the audio cable was just really because it's really thin right this audio cable that i'm using for my mp3 player see how thin it is i thought maybe it was just prone to interference because that can happen too you can get interference in the line but it doesn't normally sound like that interference is a little bit different so as soon as i described it to somebody online they told me oh yeah that sounds like a ground loop problem and so i looked into it and uh that's the solution hopefully that helps some of you out i mean it's sort of a thing that really only people that install car stereos know about but like if you bought a used car and it had an aftermarket stereo or maybe you put one in yourself like i did and you didn't realize that you needed one of these or something like hopefully this helps out because people don't necessarily know to search for the terms ground loop isolator. They would just be like, my car stereo has static. What do I do? <laughs> so, yeah, now you can have, uh, you know, nice, nice, enjoyable music without that obnoxious static when you're driving. And again, the solution, and I know some people might say, well, why don't you just not plug it in? Well, yeah, but what happens when the battery gets low? I mean, Especially if you're taking long road trips, you're going to have to plug it in at some point. The batteries don't last that long, even in a phone. If you're playing music constantly, like, that that's just a dumb... That's not really a solution. That's just a workaround. Yeah, the solution is to just get rid of the problem, <laughs> which is to get one of these. So, um, I'll link one in the description that I bought. Um, if you have a system like mine where it just has a regular headphone jack and you don't want to be using, like three different adapter thingies to hook it up because i'll admit this is kind of awkward right having all these weird like cables all over like it's just easier to have it you know one thing plugged in so i already order online what i need and uh i'll link in the description so if anyone else wants to buy one you can and uh once it comes in i maybe i'll just put a little annotation below saying how well it works because hopefully it will work well that's it for now thanks for watching